We just added the Navionics Web API to our phishing map, and I'm going to show you how and why you should be using it. So as you can see, I'm already logged in, and I've set my location to a place offshore. And to get to the map up under the home navigation is map. Now, if you're familiar with this page, one of the things that you'll notice that's a little different is the actual numbers that represent the depth in these contour lines. And this is Navionics in action here, and I'm going to zoom in. And what you'll notice is there's a lot more detail that's available that's, that you really can't see from Google Maps. For example, I've already set my location here to what looks like a little hump that I wasn't really familiar with. And I can adjust my uh, latitude and longitude by just moving this cursor around. What I see that's real interesting is another spot that's right here. It's actually like a deep hole. So if I pinpoint right on the top, I can see the latitude and longitude. And I can add that directly to my GPS unit, ma unit manually, or I can add a spot, or add a report if I caught something. Now what's really cool is taking some of this information about these different spots and then we're going to overlay the sea surface temperatures. And if you're fishing offshore, you really need to be looking at the sea surface temperatures to find the fish. And in this example, I'm going to zoom out. What you see is there's some real cold water, that's the Labrador current, that's coming up with this Gulf Stream water that's real warm and they're colliding right off of Hatteras. So I can even see that there's a little bit of this break, it's a little, you know, there's some cold waters colliding right here with some of this warm water. Maybe I want to be, you know, right in this area. And what I can do is uncheck this map and see that that original area that I was looking at is right along that break. Now if I remove the Navionics and just show Google you can tell there's not much detail. I can't really tell what's there. But there's a hump here and you got that warm waters colliding. This may be a good, this may be a good place to catch fish now. So using you know, Navionics to find the structure that is overlaid with the sea surface temperatures really increases your odds to catch in more fish. But offshore is not the only place that you use this Navionics data. They also have many of the lakes are using the sonar data. So for example, we recently added uh, Gunnersville, Alabama a lot of different fishing spots and I'm going to go there now. And as you can see there's a lot more detail in the contour that's available that you can't see in Google Earth. This should help you find new fishing spots as well as improve your fishing by fishing in areas that will be more productive. If you have any questions or suggestions for using this new feature, don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks for using Fishing Status.